Hi and welcome to Western New York RV Rental. Uh, what we're showing you today is how to use the electronics in the vehicle. So now you see we're inside in the one main cabin, the, the largest TV. So this is on a swivel and can go all the way back and it can tighten down over here on the bottom there's a knob. We're going to pull it out so that we can see it more visible in the main cabin and we're going to turn it on. Uh, we do have a remote. Uh, for each of the TVs, again, they're located in the cabinet above the small TV, which we'll show you next, to the right of the bathroom. So when we turn on the, the, the TV, um, this is running off the antenna right now. This is actually, you crank that to the right to raise the antenna, crank it to the left to bring the antenna all the way down. That antenna drives all the TVs in the vehicle. Um, we have a DVD player located directly inside the cabinet here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a DVD and we're going to place it in the top of that DVD player. It's a little tray, push down, close, then we're going to change our source to AV2. We're going to power the DVD unit on. The green light will come on on the DVD player when it's turned on. And you'll see it here, Nexa, and it's loading, and that DVD will play. Now, a nice feature if you're stuck and it's a lousy day or you're watching a movie is we do have a home theater system uh, set up in the unit itself. And in order for that to work, there's a cord that hangs down here that's sitting right behind over here. Now, if we take this cord and we unwind it and we turn on our main head unit here and this turns on we've got an AV input down here on the bottom if you were to plug this in press home go to AV in one and this will now play Whatever's playing on the TV. Let's turn this up a little bit. My head, my butt, my head, my butt. I gotta get baby's bed back. Whoa, whoa. Hi, now I'm going to show you how to use uh, the TV and DVD in the kids' entertainment center just across from the lower bunk um, and the top bunk. Now it's important when we're driving um, that this can be attached up. Um, this goes into here. Make sure that you clip this back and now the kids can sit underneath here while driving and use the entertainment sy system across uh, from them right now. All of the remotes that we've been stated are kept up in this cabinet and here's an auxiliary in cable. All of the stereos pretty much have an auxiliary in. You could use your phone and play music through it. Okay. Our power button is located here to turn the power on for the TV. Okay. Um, right now uh, we have the stereo and this is the power button here. Power for the stereo. Turn this down for a second. That's the stereo that's playing. Okay, turn that all the way down. We have our volume in the TV itself. Right now it's using the antenna in the unit. If we want to use the DVD player, we hit the source button and we go to AV1 and then we hold. We come down here and we hit DVD source here. We already put a DVD in the slot and it's loading. You'll see that it's, it's loading at the moment right now and that will start. You control your volume from here, and it comes out through the stereo speakers here. Okay. Now, if you have a video game system, down here, there's AC power cords and a video and a left and right. Your Wii and um, your um, PlayStations will plug into that. If you have a newer unit, on the side of this it actually has HDMI inputs. You may end up taking an HDMI cord and plug it into the side of the TV and then plug it in your AC unit down there in order to play a newer PlayStation 4 or a device that takes an HDMI cord and plug directly into the TV. Hi, 
Uh, now we're in uh, the master bedroom, and we're going to show you the last uh, TV in the unit, uh, which is our supersonic on the wall here. Now the button all the way to the right is the power button. I'm going to hit that power button there. Um, it is the only TV in, in the vehicle that is of the brand Supersonic, and this remote I took out of the, the uh, cupboard next to the bathroom, and it's probably the easiest to use. Um, now, the TV comes on, and it's automatically using the antenna. If that's the last source that was set up, you can change your channels, of course, using the remote. If you want to use the built-in DVD player, then what you would do is, You'd hit the source button on the remote and use the down arrow till you get to DVD player and then hit enter. That enables the DVD player. Now the DVD is actually on the side so you have to open the cabinet door. There's a little instruction here that tells you that the label should be pointing towards the wall. So the label pointing towards the wall and then put it in the slot and it will take the DVD in. And we're going to close that. Shows that it's loading and your DVD will start shortly. And that's what you can use this remote for then to control the volume, pause, um, or any other features that a DVD player would have. Let's wait here a moment for it to start. And there the movie has started. One. Hi, and welcome to Western New York RV Rental. Uh, today we're going to go over some of the features for you, the electronic features in our Sunseeker 3170DS. Right now we're outside and we're going to show you the outside entertainment center. Okay, So we open up the entertainment center and the remotes are located uh, just above the TV uh, to the right of the bathroom. Uh, but we can hit power button here and this will turn on to whatever the last source that was turned on. I believe it was the TV. So we'll give it a second here. Uh, the TV is powered off of the antenna which is up on the roof. Um, you can also plug in in the sewer and power compartment in the back, there is a cable input jack. If your rental site has cable, then we'll give you a supply cable that you can connect from their post to get cable in the RV itself. Right now we're running off of antenna. Now we have a DVD player built in down here on the bottom. Here's the DVD player. This um, will eject the DVD that's in there, or this is how you put a DVD in there. So we're going to put this DVD back in. We're going to close this. In order to watch the DVD, you go to the source menu on the TV, go to AV2. You can hit the source button twice to get there and wait, or you could use the remote. It'll automatically change to the DVD player. And here's the DVD that is uh, playing. And that's already started. 